Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of PvZ2 Eclipse. Last time we did some more Vase Breaker doing, what was it? Uh, yeah, the Pirate Seas and Frostbite Caves worlds. This time we're going to do the Wild West and also Big Wave Beach. Let's get right into it. Man, I've really been having a lot of fun with Vase Breaker, but I don't know. It definitely feels a little cheesy to use the power-ups. But, uh... Okay, let's figure out what we're dealing with this time around. Uh, split pea, potato mine, spike weed. What do we got for zombies? Piano. Piano. Poncho guys. Okay, so I assume I gotta find the pianos, blow them up with mines, and then I think split pea should be able to deal with like everything else. No, I know I gotta use the spike weed on the piano, so that's what I gotta do. Oh. I meant to restart before that happened. Yeah, so I want to see how far I can get without using the, the power-ups. I think, hmm. We probably should just try and clear out the back first. We gotta split P here. Let's put him there. And how do I want to go about this? I feel like we need to start, yeah, start with the back and then move, make our way more forward. Let's break this open, see what it is, and then I'll try and find something for him. I'll put this here for now. I want to find a split pea, there we go. I'm going to put the spike weed on the minecart track, I think that makes the most sense. I might be able to use a potato mine to blow up multiple guys all at once. In fact, maybe I should try and like preserve this spike weed as much as possible. Although, this is probably what the potato mine's for, if I had to guess. Here, let's just butter him while he's standing on that. I might want to save that. Yeah, that should hopefully be enough. You know, just as I say, if I, I'm going to try and restrict myself to the power-ups, I'd go ahead and do that. Alright, let's find another... How many split peas were there? I don't even remember. I... W I I don't think there was five, actually, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Let's just break that open. What have we got there? Hmm. Let's get another split pea out there. I might just have to use a whole bunch of potato mines in one room. Okay, so that guy's just a normie. Here, I guess I'll break open these. Yeah, I'll just break that, dude. There wasn't that many pianos. I'm gonna put another potato mine up top, and I think I'm just gonna try and uh, use only mines up there. Let's put this guy out here. We'll put this behind him. Let's break open that. Because the mine could blow up with them all at once. Oh! That didn't work out the way I was hoping. I may have to... Okay, the piano had a lot less health than I thought. Let's start breaking open these. I'm gonna, I may have to butter some dudes if they uh, have that, yeah. What do I got here? I got spike weed, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to butter this dude at least a couple times. Let's break up open the... Start breaking open the top. And we'll, we'll try and sink these guys together so they get blown up by the mine all at the same time. And whoever this guy is, you just get blown up by the mine. Uh, I'm gonna need so much butter for- yeah, I don't know how you were meant to do this. Well, I guess I did waste a few mines. Didn't I? Yeah, I should have used a spike weed against that piano. Oh well, there goes all my money. Hmm. I guess I can let the piano go a little bit. I don't know how much health the piano has, actually. I want to say he probably has bucket health, bucket, he bucket head helmet, or health, whatever. Hmm. 
Did he die already, my dude? Okay, got him. And just normally you close it off. Yeah, so I bet you were meant to use a spike. There's only two spike queen, and there's only two pianos. So I bet that's what you're meant to do. Um, I think if I had to take a gander of what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to try and like use the potato mine to its maximum potential. Maybe you're meant to put it on the minecart and try and blow up a lot of guys, a lot of the poncho guys with it at once. Oh, we got a minecart trail underneath the pot. Oh. Oh. Well, I just slid that over and it broke all those pots. Are they all condensed here? Oh, they are. Okay. Oh, we got parsnip, chili bean. Lots of chili beans. Lots of normies, too. Prospectors. Well, if we find the prospectors, right, we can just let them do what... Just, they, like, they really don't have to do anything at all. I bet if we... I bet if we use the chili beans at the right time, we could get the parsnip to, like, stun a whole bunch of guys at once. Or use the chili bean to stun a whole bunch of guys at once right in front of the parsnip. I, got, I think that's what I want to do. Put a parsnip on the minecart trail. Hmm. Just don't know how I want to go about this. I think if we find... break, I feel like I should just break open a vase. If it's a prospector, I can just let him go. Let me just do one of those in each row. Okay. Yeah, you know what we'll do here? I should have broken this guy out. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Is that person can kind of just go to work? Oh shoot, I kind of may have screwed myself on this one. Okay, and then we can move this guy down here. I like the noises the person it makes as you do go on. Man, the person just just, so, just does so much damage. Hmm. Oh, they can't! I just realized. I totally missed the flower line this whole time. Okay, so never mind everything I just said about letting the prospectors go. They There's a flower line at the back that I totally missed somehow. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. The parsnips can't, like, hit behind them, so I wonder how you're meant to deal with these guys. Well, I guess the chili bean is really effective at dealing with them in it. I think the idea is to get both par here. I might use the vase reveal on this for the plants because I really just need to find the parsnips, don't I? Okay, I didn't need to do that last one because I knew the last one was there. Let's break open this one, put it there, and we have four chili beans to play around with. Well, here, let's put this on the minecart rail. That guy's dead. I'm gonna need to break open this one because it's like on the track. Okay, yeah, I, this is a much better strategy. I like it. Being able to slowly clear out all these bases. Let's see what's in here. Okay, top row's done. Love it. I'd like to see it. This guy, okay, this second row's done too. So, how do I wanna go about this? Well, here's the thing. I can break out if I by tackling this third row. I could, um, I mean, I could put this here. I could break open a chili bean, right, and put it on someone in the front, uh, and it'll stun both sets of zombies at the same time. I think that's what I want to do. Let's break open these guys. Oh. No, I, hang on, I'm trying to move you out of the way. Okay. That parsnip took a few extra bites there. Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. I think we want to do the same thing for this row.
Wait for the stun, and then do this. Oh, the problem is that those guys aren't getting hit. Hmm. I may have to just butter all this up. At least, at least against the Buckethead. I think the Parsnip is... The Parsnip has such good damage that I could probably deal with the Buckethead once he's buttered once. Actually, you know what? We'll just use a Chili Bean against this guy. Don't, don't even worry about it. And then let me just be ready on this guy. Nope, don't, I don't want that to get eaten. He's not- oh, that Buckhead's not getting hit. Nuts. I guess I should have waited until, like, after- Because, like, the Chili Bean has, like, a bit of a wind-up, too. I, I, I probably should have waited to, um, break open the vases. Yeah, the parsnip. here, let me fast-forward through this. This guy should definitely have an unlock anyway. We'll just butter him once. I, I feel so bad about using the powers, but this I, this would be so tricky, I imagine, without them. And I get a little bit of money back. But yeah, I am I am definitely losing money here. I think I was just below 600,000 before I started this. Alright, let's figure out what we're dealing with this time around. We got so many more plant bases this time around. I got a lot higher concentration of plants. Shrinking Violet, I'd like to see that. Shrinking Violet and Cactus. Huh. Well, what, what happened to that imp? Just flew off screen. Oh, he, he's- okay, he's a bull. Okay. So, two bulls. Hmm. No, sorry, four bulls. I missed that somehow. Hmm. I think it was four bulls. And two prospectors, I think is what I remember. Hmm. How are we meant to deal with the bulls? I think what you're meant to do is put something in the minecart up in front and like trigger them right away. I am noticing that the top row only has one zombie in it. I feel like maybe that's a good place to start with this setup here. But, I mean, depending on what it is, it could be like super bad. Hmm. Where's the best place to put the cactus, even? I feel like, because there were walnuts, too. I feel like I gotta put walnuts in the very back and then cactus in that second column. That's what I'm thinking. Put a cactus here. I forget how many. I think there was five cactus. I could be wrong about that, though. That is not... Oh, I'm just gonna restart. That is not where I wanted to put it. I meant to put the walnuts in that place. Do I have any good columns this time around? Or good rows? Okay, I don't have any good rows this time. Around, right, let's break open one. That's a shrinking violet, shrinking violet, walnut. Okay, let's put this guy out. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the shrinking violets in the minecarts actually, because this way I can choose when to use them. Right, I guess we'll break open this base up top. That is a bucket. I think we can deal with that bucket head, no problem. Well, if the cactus can hit, that is. I don't like how the Gargantuar vase is actually super far up. I mean, I, I, there was Stalia, right? There was Stalia. I guess that's saving grace here. Yeah, let's break open these closest ones. I'll put the Shrinking Violet in here again. I'm gonna need a Stalia here for the Gargantuar. So we just put that there. Hmm. Is that- please tell me the cactus is enough. I mean, I'm gonna have the butter ready. Actually, no, it looks like it's gonna be fine. Okay, just barely. Oh my gosh. So that row is t fine. Yeah, I don't think I even need a walnut in the third row, even. Let's get our cactus here. Start working on this row. Do there. Yeah, okay. Cactus here. Okay, there's another cactus, lovely. Okay, he's dead. I, I don't know why, I, I shouldn't be busting these open. Let's put this here, yeah, we can shrink this guy. Oh, that was a bull, oh, that was a bull. 
Oh, I need it. Oh, shoot. Let's, uh, put this... Let's... I need this bolded jump. I need... Uh, I, I was gonna... I, was, I said I was gonna put a walnut in there, and I didn't. Oh, okay, they do, uh... It's probably now a good time as any to do that. There's probably there's still more bulls, isn't there though? Hmm. Okay, well I can push Tricky Violet here in front. I need to butter this guy. Oh, that guy's not even getting hits. Oh, that even- oh my gosh. Okay, we- I handled this really poorly, so a walnut definitely needs to go in the front minecart. I need to figure that out. Do we have any good rows this time? Okay, so the middle row looks promising for like- Let's just figure out what's in this face. Actually, hang on. Oh, I don't like that. And I don't like how the Gargantuar- okay. I'm gonna restart. I don't like how the Gargantuar vase starts out so extremely far- like up close, yeah, that's slightly better. Okay, and okay, so the middle row and the fourth row both only have one vase each. Start there. I'll put. I think putting Shrinking Violet in these minecarts is probably the way to go. All right, let's see. How bad is this? Okay, so that's a free row, dealt with. How does this row look? That's a bull. Can I find the- okay, I found a walnut, so this should be fine. Is this another free row? I probably want to find more cactus, actually. Hmm. Uh, golly, let's put that there. I don't want this walnut getting eaten too much. He's not even getting fired on, that's the problem. I guess I probably should use a Shrinking Violet against the bull, that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, let's use it against this guy. I don't like this Stalia. I don't know what to do with it. I guess I could put this here and then break open those two vases. Hmm. Oh, stop giving me Stalias. Okay, let's do this now. Oh shoot, that doesn't work out the way I was hoping. Oh, that really doesn't. It's wasted that kind of entirely. Hmm. Okay, we need, we need a cactus down here for sure. Okay, so we already determined that this will work against his bucket head. I need that. Uh. Oh shoot. Here, let's just drink this guy. Please tell me that I did that early enough. No! Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna need to butter this bowl up. So the cactus has time to eat it. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. The bull can actually eat the cactus from far away enough that... Oh my gosh. Uh, this is, I think this is a restart. Oh my gosh, this level is like actually brutal. The problem is I just keep finding all the plants at the wrong time. Like, there's so many, like, Stalias. There's three, I think. There's either three or four. And, like, ugh, this Gargantuar vase. I don't like it being so far up. That's not fair. Go back. Go in the back row, please. Okay, there we go. That's a lot better. And, yeah, in the front... Or, the front column is almost fine. Mm -hmm. Let's put you here. Uh, 
I'll put this in the Gargantua row. I really need the cactus first. Oh my gosh, game. I need the cactus! I'll put this in the minecart for right now. Here, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna break open this right away. Oh, that kind of sucks. It's the bucket. I'm gonna give him one butter. Because I think he's gonna need that to die. Again, I don't like all these stallias. Right away. Like, why did I not get, like, any cactus? Immediately. Let's, okay, let's start trying to see if we can clear out this row. Buckethead. Well, it doesn't matter if I have extra dudes here, yeah. I'm gonna have to butter this buckethead in this row, too. Oh my, are you serious? Okay, let's drink this, yeah. Okay. Are you serious, Cactus? He has, like, no health, Oh. Uh? I put one butter on him, hoping that would be enough. Dang it. Okay, let's see. Can I find cactus first? Okay, that's nice to see. That's a bull. I need to find a walnut. There we go. Let me put a... Let me put a walnut in the back here. I'll need Stalia here for the Gargantuar. Let me shrink the violet this. It might be worth it actually shrinking violet. Oh, shoot. I was gonna say, if that was a bull, I could have shrunk both of them at the same time. But I messed that up. It sucks how the cactus doesn't shoot all the way across. Delay these guys as much as possible. Uh, Axis needs to start shooting. Yeah, I'm gonna put this here. Give him more time to shoot. Uh, man. This, is, this has gone pretty poorly. This guy, this guy needs to kill this guy, but he still has so much health left, it would appear. Stop eating that. This, this bull just needs to die. Please, 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 just die. Die, die. Die, die. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, that's gonna be another bull. I think I can deal with the bull. Let's uh, plump a cactus here. Put that there for the bucket head. I put a shrinking violet. I don't know what to do with this guy, actually. Let's, um... Just drinking violet, that bull. I need to butter this guy. Yeah, I don't want him blasting off yet. Okay. Because if he got behind the cactus, it would have been bad. I would have lost my, uh... Actually, when I'm... Man, what am I supposed to do with the potato? Hmm. I also you know... You know what I just realized? I could infinitely start a, gar a gargantuar using a minecart. I don't know why I haven't thought about that. Yet. Here, let's actually break open this guy, whatever he is. And we'll shrink him at the same time we do the Gargantuar.
I guess that didn't really help, did it? Oh, man. Yeah, I need I needed to put something in a minecart to like infinitely stall stall the gargantua. I I have done messed up, you guys. Oh my gosh, this might just be a yeah. See, I'm looking at the time. I think this might just be a good time to just do a a one world episode because I mean I do have like an odd number of worlds to get through. Hmm. Because I am really struggling with this one. Yeah, so at some point I need to put a, uh, like a walnut in a minecart. I think that would be a good idea. Where do I want to start here? Let's pick up on that. That's, mm hmm. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's a, it's actually a bull. Okay, you know what? We'll just drink you right away. It's rid of the imp, right? Okay, so the bull just kind of just runs around afterward. Interesting. I don't know what to do with Astalia, man. I guess I'm going to put it here, because whatever spawns is going to immediately... Yeah. Be a thorn in my side. And I need a- I think the wall- Oh wait, I need to, How many walnuts are there? I forget. There's three, right? I want to know those- There's either three or four. Oh. Okay, so I need to save one. Let's put it in- I need to put it in this minecart, I think. Actually, no, let's just use the cactus, yeah. I wonder if that's a good spot for stuff. Because when the bull, like, walks over him... Here, let's do this now. Ooh, now he's under... An he's not getting eaten. Oh, wait. He doesn't go down in response to the bull? Okay, now he does. That should be enough for that bull, I'm hoping. Just break open this. This a, that's a bull incoming. So use this to launch the imp. Okay, so this somewhat is gonna work. It's a bull incoming. Oh, why did I do that at the same time? I'm gonna have to butter one of these. I, maybe putting the cactus in the minecart was a good idea. Oh, should butter that guy. I'm gonna put this over here. Butter that one. Man, I'm wasting so much money. That bull should still die, I think. No problem. Cactus has a lot of damage. Okay, that is a bucket. I'd like to be. We have two cactus in this row, though. I, I have to assume two cactus is good enough. Although, I probably have a Shrinking Violet somewhere I can use. Yeah, we'll just shrink this guy. Actually, no, I need to put... Hang on. No, never mind. No, never mind. Everything's fine. Get this open. Uh, I might just put this where the Gargantua is straight away. I'm just going to hold on to this Stalia. Because the last plant is a walnut, I think, right? Actually, shoot. Oh, shoot, yeah. I'd... Actually, no, I need to use this here on this guy. So I, I missed my chance to kill him there. Butter you. Man, I... This level's tricky, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I, I hate to do one world, but yeah, I'm looking at the time, and it's like, yeah, this world's been kicking my butt here. 
I... Okay, there we go. That's fine. Let's do... Let's break, let's, let's break this open. Oh shoot, um... Actually, I guess that's fine. I'll, I'm just gonna dig up this walnut. I don't need this walnut anymore anyway. Yeah, and so this is a gargantuar. Oh, that's a shrinking violet, not a walnut. Okay. Well, like that, I still have this walnut in this minecart. To stall him. This will stall him even more. It, I mean, it does, it's not doing extra damage, but it is, a. Uh, he is, like, hitting it. Not sure why. You see, I'm gonna use this... So I'm just gonna basically just be using this walnut to stall him. This is probably what you're meant to do if I had to take a guess, because there's, like, even while shrunk, this guy just takes way too many hits. Oh, I shoot, I messed that up. I messed that up. Well, luckily, I, but, okay, he was nearly dead anyway. Okay, yeah, that world totally kicked my butt there. Get a bit of a refund there on the the butter. Yeah, guys, I like I said, I hate to do that, but um, it is turning out to be a bit of a long episode. Uh, so yeah, next time we'll do I mean hopefully like Big Wave Beach and uh the Jurassic Marsh in one episode, and then we can do the Far Future and Neon Mixtape Tour in one episode. I think that's gonna be the plan, guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Uh. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day, guys. Bye.